Imagine the universe 13.8 billion years ago. No space, no time, only a tiny singularity. Then the Big Bang occurs, the moment when space and time emerge and everything that will later form matter begins to exist. In that incredibly brief instant after the explosion, the Planck epoch, about 10 to the power of negative 43 seconds, the universe was so hot and dense that the four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, strong and weak nuclear forces, were fused into a single superforce. The laws of physics operated differently then, and to fully describe those conditions, we would need a theory of quantum gravity, which does not yet exist. But one thing is known. As this early era ended, a kind of crystallization of forces occurred. Gravity separated first. The universe expanded and cooled, and forces separated much like how different phases form when a liquid freezes. Gravity was born as an independent force, distinct from the others, which remained united a little longer. Thus began its great cosmic role. Gravity then did what it does best. It began constructing cosmic architectural structures. It pulled matter together, gathering gas into the first stars, galaxies, and clusters. But what is gravity at its core? At the beginning of the 20th century, Albert Einstein provided a stunning answer. According to the general theory of relativity, gravity is not some invisible thread pulling objects, but the curvature of space and time caused by massive objects. Mass bends the fabric of space-time, and other objects simply move along the curved surface. Imagine a large stretched sheet representing space-time. Place a heavy ball on it. The fabric sags, creating a depression. Now roll a smaller ball nearby. It will roll down the slope toward the heavy ball. From Einstein's perspective, the large ball does not pull the small one directly with some force. The small ball simply rolls down the curved sheet. Thus, gravity is the result of mass warping space and time, causing other objects to move along curved paths. This is why, for example, planets orbit the Sun. They roll along a dimple in space created by the massive Sun. This elegant picture explains both why an apple falls and why planetary orbits exist. Space-time is curved and material objects follow this curvature. Interestingly, science is still trying to peer even deeper into the nature of gravity. Although the general theory of relativity describes it beautifully on the scales of planets and stars, a mystery remains. How to unite gravity with the quantum world of elementary particles? Theories of quantum gravity aim to merge these two views to understand gravity during the universe's earliest moments. Some scientists even propose bold hypotheses. For example, suggesting that gravity might not be a fundamental force at all, but an effect arising from deeper quantum processes, perhaps linked to electromagnetism. In other words, gravity could be a byproduct of even more fundamental laws of nature. If these ideas are confirmed, they could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. So how did gravity originate? It was born with the universe, separating in the first moments after the Big Bang. Since then, gravity has served as the invisible skeleton of the cosmos. It gathers galaxies together and keeps us anchored to Earth. And although we describe it as a curvature of space-time, the story of gravity is not yet finished. New discoveries may lie ahead, revealing that this familiar force has even deeper cosmic roots than we imagined. But even now, one fact remains. Everything around us, from a falling apple to the movement of distant galaxies, has been made possible by the same gravity that arose in the first moments of the universe's birth. Imagine for a moment that gravity disappeared. Stars would not ignite, planets would not form, galaxies would not assemble. Instead, the universe would be just a cold, rarefied mist of particles. A chilling picture, isn't it? Fortunately, it's just fantasy. Gravity exists, and from the very beginning it has been the invisible sculptor of the cosmos. After the Big Bang, the searing chaos of particles began to obey gravity. The force of gravity pulled the scattered matter together and compressed it. Thus, the first stars ignited. Over time, stars grouped into huge stellar systems, galaxies, Particles and debris around young stars also attracted one another and stuck together. This is how planets were born. 
In our solar system, the Sun, as the most massive body, used its gravity to tie the planets into orbits around itself. For example, Earth completes a full orbit around the Sun in 365 days precisely because of this gravitational pull. Interestingly, most of the matter in the universe is invisible dark matter, about five times more abundant than ordinary matter. We cannot see it, but it reveals itself through gravity. It acts as an invisible glue that holds galaxies together. Gravity also reveals true wonders in the most extreme conditions of the universe. When an extremely large mass is concentrated in a tiny volume, a black hole forms, a place where gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. Ultimately, this invisible force holds the cosmos in its hands. From the birth of stars and galaxies to the rotation of planets, gravity shapes the structure of the universe and gives us our starry home. Gravity holds us to Earth and seems like an ordinary force of nature, but in reality, it can do very strange things. Here are three of the strangest effects of gravity that will truly take your breath away. Black holes and spaghettification. Imagine flying too close to a black hole. What would happen to you? You would be relentlessly pulled toward it. The gravity near a black hole is so intense that it pulls on different parts of your body with varying strength. If you fall feet first, the gravitational force on your feet would be much stronger than on your head. As a result, you would be stretched from head to toe and compressed from the sides, literally turning you into a long, thin thread. Scientists seriously call this phenomenon spaghettification, because the victim of a black hole stretches out like spaghetti. It's not just theory. In 2019, astronomers observed such an event, a distant star being torn apart into a long stream of hot matter by a black hole. A terrifying fate, but an excellent example of gravity's bizarre powers. Gravity not only rips objects apart, it also slows down time. Near any massive body, time flows more slowly relative to someone farther away. Near a black hole, this effect becomes extreme. To an outside observer, anything falling into the black hole appears to slow down and freeze at the event horizon. But for the astronaut themselves, time flows almost normally. How strange! A real-world example. In 2010, physicists measured that a clock just one meter higher than another ticked slightly faster. The difference is tiny, but the fact remains. Gravity literally warps time itself. When massive objects, like two black holes, merge, they generate gravitational waves, rippling distortions of space-time that spread outward at the speed of light. In 2015, LIGO detectors first recorded such a signal. The collision of two black holes 1.3 billion light-years away caused a minuscule change in the distance between the detector's mirrors. How minuscule! Space-time shifted by less than a fraction of the size of an atom, about 10,000 times smaller than an atomic nucleus. Imagine how tiny that wave was. And yet we still detected it. This is direct evidence that gravity warps space-time and that these distortions can propagate as waves. Gravity once again proved it can astonish even the most seasoned scientists. Is gravity always the same? Imagine standing on different planets. On some you are lightly supported as if you were a feather, and on others it feels like a giant hand is pressing you down. Gravity or gravitational force varies everywhere. On Earth, we are used to a gravitational force we call 1G. Your weight here is 100%, but on the Moon, Gravity is about six times weaker. A person would weigh only approximately 16% of their Earth weight there. Imagine a 70 kilogram person weighing just over 11 kilograms on the Moon. You could jump almost six times higher and move with smooth, slow strides. This is exactly how astronauts moved, like in slow motion film. On even smaller celestial bodies, like Mars's moon Phobos, gravity is so tiny, less than 0.06% of Earth's, that a careless jump could send you straight into space. Almost weightlessness. On Mars, gravity is also weaker, about 38% of Earth's. You would be more than twice as light. The same 70 kilogram person would weigh about 26 kilograms there. Your jumps would be higher and your steps much broader. A Mars colonist could lift rocks that would be impossible to move on Earth and feel a bit like a superhero. 
Even though Martian gravity isn't as low as the moon's, taking off from the ground would still be much easier than on Earth. Now, the opposite side. Jupiter is a giant with a mass 318 times greater than Earth's. Its gravity is about 2.5 times stronger than Earth's. A 70 kilogram Earthling would feel a weight of about 175 kilograms there. You would be literally crushed by your own weight. Lifting even your hand would be hard. As for jumping, forget it. You could barely lift your feet off the ground. By the way, bigger doesn't always mean stronger gravity. For example, Saturn, despite being huge, has such a low average density that its gravity is only slightly stronger than Earth's, bas 1.06 grams. If you could stand on Saturn, you would feel just a bit heavier than at home. And what about beyond our system? There are exotic exoplanets, such as the so-called super-Earths. These are rocky planets much more massive than Earth. Imagine one, planet Kepler 62f, it's about 40% larger than Earth, but might have gravity about four times stronger. How would you feel? Your 70 kilograms would turn into 280 kilograms of crushing weight. You would be pinned to the surface. Standing up or walking would be incredibly difficult. In such strong gravity, blood would rush to your legs, your brain would suffer from lack of oxygen, and your bones would crack under the pressure. In other words, such a planet could crush you. Scientists estimate that 4 to 5 g is roughly the limit of gravity that a human could endure for a long time. Beyond that, the human body would not survive. The universe offers a whole spectrum of gravities, from tiny asteroids to massive planets. And our Earth lies somewhere in the middle of this scale, a perfect balance allowing us to live and move. Dark energy, the hidden engine of the universe. Gravity keeps planets in orbit and shapes galaxies, but on the largest cosmic scales, it faces a challenger. Dark energy, a mysterious, invisible form of energy, makes up about 68% of the universe's total energy and causes its expansion to accelerate. In the late 1990s, astronomers were astonished to discover that distant supernovae were receding faster than expected, as if space itself were inflating under the influence of an unknown repulsive force. This is how dark energy was discovered, which now dominates the cosmos, pushing galaxies farther apart. If its influence continues, the distant future could bring the Big Rip scenario, an expansion so powerful that it eventually tears apart galaxies, stars, and even atoms. If dark energy weakens or changes, the opposite outcome might occur. The expansion could halt under gravity's pull, leading to the Big Crunch. For now, dark energy confidently wins this cosmic tug-of-war, leaving scientists with many unanswered questions. Quantum gravity, the search for the theory of everything. Another set of mysteries revolves around gravity itself. It is hard to reconcile with the laws of the quantum world. Quantum gravity aims to unite two fundamental theories. Einstein's general relativity, which describes gravity on large scales, and quantum mechanics, which governs atoms and particles. Currently, these two frameworks don't agree. Gravity rules the realm of galaxies, while quantum laws govern the subatomic world. Yet under extreme conditions, such as inside black holes or during the Big Bang, a unified theory is needed to explain everything together. Physicists worldwide have been searching for this theory for decades, from string theory to loop quantum gravity, but so far, no experimental confirmation exists. Solving quantum gravity promises to illuminate the deepest secrets of the universe, how it was born, what happens inside black holes, and possibly provide the long-sought theory of everything uniting all the forces of nature. It is the scientific holy grail driven by humanity's endless curiosity. Controlling gravity from science fiction to reality? For centuries, humans have dreamed of controlling gravity, anti-gravity engines, rocketless travel, and artificial gravity on spacecraft, these sound like science fiction. Yet today, even serious scientists are beginning to discuss such ideas. Since 2020, groups of researchers from NASA, DARPA, MIT, and other institutions have been gathering at conferences dedicated to new methods of propulsion, essentially seeking real anti-gravity technologies. 
This shows that the dream of taming gravity is no longer taboo and has entered scientific discussion. Of course, so far everything remains theoretical. No actual experiments have cancelled gravity yet. But imagine for a moment. One day humanity unlocks gravity's secrets. We could create gravitational fields at will, build ships that traverse cosmic distances by bending space-time, or provide artificial gravity for living in space. Although today these are still bold dreams, scientific progress once made spaceflight real, too. The future of gravity may bring breakthroughs beyond even our wildest imagination. Gravity remains a familiar yet deeply mysterious force. We have already learned to listen to it through gravitational waves and use its laws for interplanetary travel. But the most exciting discoveries are still ahead. Dark energy challenges our understanding of the cosmos, quantum gravity challenges our theories, and dreams of controlling gravity challenge our very imagination. Humanity stands on the brink of new discoveries. Will we uncover these secrets? One day we may fully understand gravity, and then the universe will never seem the same. This future is filled with both hope and awe, and we boldly step toward it.